In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up your Galaxy S20 for the first time. Begin by holding the power key for a couple of seconds to turn the phone on. The first boot may take a little longer because the phone builds the system cache for all services. Once it is booted up, you are ready to set it up. Tap next, or the arrow pointing to the right to proceed. The first prompt is for you to agree to Samsung's license agreement, privacy policy, and other marketing information. Just tap the last radial button to agree to everything, and then tap next to continue. At the next screen, you will be prompted to connect a network if possible. For this tutorial, we'll connect to a Wi-Fi network. So tap on a network you wanted to connect, and then enter the network passwords. When ready, tap connect and wait until the phone is connected to the network. Tap next. Your phone will now check for updates, and then download and install them. This will be done automatically, so you really don't have to do anything but wait. The next prompt is for you to choose if you want to copy apps and data from your other phone. For this tutorial, let's set the phone up as a new device, so tap don't copy. At this point, you will be asked to enter your Google accounts. You need to do this to be able to access most of Google services, including the Play Store where you can download apps and games. So enter your Google ID and tap next. Enter your password and tap next. Agree to Google's terms of service to continue. Tap next. If you may, read the information on Google services and tap accept. The next screen will ask you to set up your screen lock. You may set it up now, but in this tutorial let's skip it. After all, we can set it up in the settings later. You will then be asked to download a bunch of apps. Let's proceed with the setup without downloading anything yet. Don't worry, you can download them later. So uncheck all of them and tap OK. Also, don't download the recommended apps, at least for now. Uncheck them and tap Next. Now, enter your Samsung account and password and tap Done on the keyboards. Tap the last radio button to agree to Samsung's agreements, and then tap Agree. Tap Finish and you can start using your phone. Enjoy all the things your phone can offer, and that's how to set up your new Galaxy S20. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.